Hi class, um, making good headway here. Um, I'm just going to show you a few more things uh, that are very related. Um, you can see now already, I've got this all ready to go. Same technique I just showed you. Put the duo tack uh, in the back. So I can stick this anywhere now once I take this off. Um, again, you know, get a good edge. So with what I'm doing is I'm sticking these on here. I've also made sure that I completed this one. And I'm going to cut it down just a little because as I was painting, again, uh, some, you know, slipped aside, some were fine. Again, just take that X-Acto knife. I find they work very well. Um, and just do a nice slow cut and, you know, put pressure on it so it's easier if you only have to do it once, okay? Then, um, this is what happens <laughs> when you don't do it um, a little bit stronger. So I'm just going to do this part right over again, and then I'm ready to go. Um, I've already got my duotech on the back of this. Now I'm going to show you one that's a little trickier, but it, it's very effective. Um, a lot of times you're going to have fabrics to go along with these. Now, as I showed you, um, we always talked about complementary tones. We talked about what great accents they make. So I've got all these greens and golds and, you know, the, that new quartz green a bit is in here. Um, and I, you know, I always keep a slew of fabrics around. So I'm working, this is one of the swatches. And again, I might have shown this last week. You can see as far as the mill goes, there's their color boxes. So we know right away there's six colors in this. Okay, so um, this will this will look, would look fine with my colors. Uh, it, they're not exact by any means, but I don't want them to be. Because let's say I did wallpaper on this one, this uh, one that I painted, then I would have you know, a nice chaise lounge in this one. You could do accent pillows. Um, always throw in another color. This is the exact same color as the border here, okay? So what we're going to do next is, I've already kind of cut this down to size a bit, but the good thing about this is always go bigger, meaning this is a little big for the area I'm doing, but I'm going to put the sticker part on it anyways because I can always cut this down. You can't make it bigger but you can always cut it down, um, which you're going to need to do sometimes. Plus, I don't want these raggedy edges. Um, I just don't want these raggedy edges that happens with fabrics. So again, here I go. Um, I'm just cutting this out here. I'm just cutting this in a little here. Liz, uh, I'm doing this a little faster, but definitely, you know, use a pencil and... Um, you know, get your lines straight just so you, you don't undercut. So what, what my goal is now is I'm going to put this here, but I need to make sure that this is cut out nicely. So turn this guy over, turn the fabric over, and right away I'm going to go ahead and get my, here's my sticky side. So I'm going to put this pretty much at the edge, okay? Now, I'm also going to add, and then I'm going to wait on this one um, and get my sizes right on all the other ones. So I have another one here too that needs to be done, the yellow. So right away, I'm going to um, cut off a little bit of the excess, okay? Oh, this is going to be a tricky one. Um, actually, I'm going to do this a little bit opposite. I'm actually going to stick, I'm going to clear this right now, class, so I can get my sticky side um, in place. Because it is really hard to cut fabrics. I mean, try to get yourself a nice pair of uh, fabric scissors. Um, but also, it's going to be much easier now, I know, with this look at on the paper before I take the other side off, I am going to cut this down, okay? This way, I know, um, and hopefully, yeah, all I gotta 
do is go back over this one. And look what a nice edge I have here, okay? Uh, yes, there's a little bit showing. So I want this to go right in here. So I can actually, again, use a pencil or a pen. I know that I have to cut this down to about here and to there, okay? So I go back, take my ruler, and just cut this piece right here. Okay. Uh, take your time. Don't have any distractions when you're doing this. Um, and always go back. So I got that side taken care of. It goes nicely in place. And now I want to be sure I get this side um, equally in place. Again, I'm eyeing this, but I've done this a lot, so um, pretty well figured it out. Now, it looks really good, except there's a little bit extra here. So right away, I keep it right back on its side. I know that I have to go up about a quarter of an inch, okay? Again, take the ruler, go ahead, do the first slice, and then a little bit more pressure, and voila. Okay? So look how nice this is. It's all ready to go. I'm going to put it here. I'm actually going to put um, this one right next to it. So you can see, a little messy, but you can see, looking at all these, I've got, I'm all ready to go. Um, I'm balancing them out a bit. But I also know that they're a little bit um, larger than I'd want. Again, no problem, because I'm just going to take my ruler again. The, the side from here to there is really good. Um, I'm going to take this again, cut that down, okay? And again, take the other side, and cut this down, because I want to get that kind of playing card where I have um, all my samples looking, you know, pretty consistent. Again, I would be spending more time on this with measuring and stuff, um, and I would sec suggest you do it that way. Everything's looking good except I definitely need a little bit more of a cut here, okay? Okay, so this is done. Uh, it fits nicely right here, as well as this one, okay? Again, um, if I want to even out the sides, I could cut this, which I think I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna put this here, my markings. And I'm just going to cut that on the back. I know where the markings are. Okay, just one more hit with this. Take your time. Um, don't rush this, because again, uh, you don't want to cut yourself at all. And so now, I've got my tabs here. Let me try to show this better to you. I've got my tabs here. I'm going to unglue them. Just take the back off the one. And I've got a really nice looking, um, you know, I watched my edges and stuff. So I've got a really nice looking um, side here. Just to be really fussy, <laughs> be really neurotic, I am going to just cut this down one more a little, just to make it, no, I have a little bit more play here. Since I've chosen to, sh uh, you know, show the white um, border all the time, okay? Again, 
you can, if you need to, you have a little space. Sometimes it's easier to do it with the scissors. So I'm taking this little piece off here. And finishing that off. I've already stuck this down. I'm going to leave my yellow over here. I take... Um, now remember, it's good to have somebody that has very... Uh, this is where good fingernails come in handy. Just try to get that edge. It just takes a little time. Sometimes you have to um, use your X-Acto knife again to kind of get in between those layers so you can go ahead and get that piece out, okay? Okay, this is actually... Not peeling off too easily. Okay, finally. Okay, so you see, sticky on this side, on that side, it's going to go right in with the edge here. And I'm going to give a little border at the bottom there. Put it right up to where um, yellow is, okay? Push that down, and then I'm gonna continue on. Um, again, just be, you know, take your time. Um, there's nothing, you know, that sometimes these do, the do attack works really well, but the only problem is, um, of course, I'm not, I always keep my fingernails really low because I paint so much keep them clean but um, and here we go on this one and put this down right here and you can see how nice that looks okay okay good class so you're well on your way to that <laughs>